Hello guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to see another problem. Check if one of the numbers is one's complement of the other. The problem statement is given two non-negative integers a and b. The problem is to check if if one of the two numbers is one's complement of the other. The one's complement of a binary number is defined as the value obtained by inverting all the bits in the binary representation of the number, swapping zeros for ones and vice versa. Let's see an example. If input a is equals to 10 and b is equals to 5, the output is yes. This is the binary representation of 10. When we take one's complement of 10, we get this binary sequence, which is equivalent to 5, and so the output is yes. Let's see how to solve this problem. In the first step, we find bitwise ZOR of a and b and store the result in n. In the second step, we check whether all bits are set in the binary representation of n or not. If all the bits are set, that means One of the number is complement of the other, else not. Let's understand this using an example. If a is equals to ten and b is equals to five, this is the binary representation of ten and this is the binary representation of five. We calculate the ZOR of ten and five and check whether all the bits are set or not. Since all bits are set in n, so a is a complement of b. Let's see another example. If a is equals to eleven and b is equals to five, this is the binary representation of eleven and this is the binary representation of five. First, we calculate the ZOR of 11 and 5. As we can see here, all bits are not set in n, so a is not a complement of b. Let's see the code. Inside the main function, we call is one's complement of other and pass the value of a and b. Inside is one's complement of other, we call the function are all bits set and pass the result of ZOR of a and b as the parameter. Inside our all bits set function, we check if n is equals to zero. If it is true, we return false, indicating bits are not set in n, and hence one of the number is not complement of other. If it is false, then we go on to check the if condition. If bitwise and of n and n plus one is equals to zero, then we return true, indicating the bits in n are set, and hence one of the number is complement of another. Else, we simply return false, indicating one of the number is not complement of another. The time complexity of this approach is O of one, and space complexity of this approach is also O of one. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.